What are narcissists trying to accomplish? What are they trying to do? What are they trying to achieve? Narcissists don't really have a desired aim or result. They usually have short term objectives. They have little schemes that they can use to get what they want. It's designed to control you and to maintain the illusion. But this isn't really something they think about. It's not something they planned. It's just something they do to get what they want. But there is something that will eventually manifest as a result of their behavior and the illusion that they've maintained. If they keep going, there is a result that will eventually be achieved. They don't usually want to kill you, although in some situations that may be a possibility. But even if they do kill you, it's going to be the result of an intolerable amount of stress. Where they have beaten you down psychologically over a long period of time. Or they may just push you over the edge where you don't want to live anymore. They make constant threats and accusations. They turn everyone against you. They ruin your reputation until you have nothing left to live for. They will target your self-esteem to the point where you feel like you don't even deserve to live. If you spend enough time around a narcissist, they will break you down. You will get to a point where you can't take it anymore. And that is when they will blame you. That is what they will use as an opportunity to turn people against you. But if a narcissist is trying to accomplish anything, it's to destroy your soul to destroy your spirit, to destroy anything that is good about you, your love, your beliefs, values and principles. To sever your connection to everything you value, everything you believe in, Everything that makes you, you. So that you stop being yourself. You stop living the life that you want to live. Until they become the only thing you're listening to. To break you down until there's nothing but the narrative that they have fed to you. Until there's no trace of the person that you used to be. That's what they're trying to accomplish. They're trying to destroy everything that you value. Everything that you love. They want you to abandon yourself and your own way of life. That is what they're trying to achieve. They want you to turn against yourself, but they want to do it in a way where nobody notices, 
where no one can trace it back to them. Because it makes them feel powerful when they can do all of these things to you. While no one knows just how disgusting they are. But the reason why they're constantly chasing power is because they're actually afraid. They cannot deal with anything. So they live in denial. They're bullies. They seek to harm and intimidate you. But then they're also cowards. They lack the courage to endure dangerous or unpleasant things. They're like children. They're very immature and irresponsible. Which is why when it comes down to it and you're ready to deal with them, you're ready to defend yourself. They're going to run away. Because they're very weak. They're non-confrontational. They can only confront you within the illusion with all of the fake problems that they create. But in the real world, they're cowards. They're very afraid and they lack confidence, which is why they try to intimidate you. They do all of these things in a way where no one notices because they're cowards. They're weak people. So behind the scenes, they want to strip you of everything that makes you, you. They want to destroy your values because they're envious. They know it's something that they don't have. They think they're rebels as though they're resisting authority and control as though they have to overthrow the natural order to create a new plan or system that works in their favor. As though they're fighting something, but what they're fighting is something good. They think they're fighting something that's trying to control them. Because in this world, there are so many things that they hate. They hate love. They hate people. They hate all of the things that their parents didn't give them. If you ask them, they might tell you everything was great. But this is what they're doing when they're trying to destroy your life. They think they're winning. By turning you against yourself. Making you destroy yourself. That's what narcissists do. That's what they're trying to accomplish. That is the end result. That's where things are going. They want to destroy everything that you value the most. Everything that means something to you. They want you to turn against it. They want you to lose faith in everything that you believe in. Until you become more like them. Until you become difficult and unreasonable. Uncooperative and unhelpful. While changing your perception of who they are and avoiding any real confrontation for what they're doing to you because they're manipulating you. They're doing all of these things behind your back without your knowledge or awareness. They're messing with your mind. It's never a fight with just two opponents. They always have to throw something unrelated into the mix. 
so that it confuses you, so that it catches you off guard, so that you can't just bring it to them. The truth is, you can't change how they respond to you. They're always going to do this. But you can stay out of the wrestling ring by sticking to your values. Your values will protect you. Your values will defeat them. And that's why they're always trying to destroy your values and good nature. They're always trying to turn people against you. They're always trying to change the way in which you see yourself. Because they know that's the greatest opposition that stands between them defeating you. Which is why that's where they have to strike first. That becomes their main objective. Because they know that if they can't change your perception of yourself, they will never be able to destroy you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.